up guys this is Garrick from F-Bomb Cigars today we're gonna to be doing another review this one's gonna be the Sin Compromiso from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust all right we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cut and lit and start smoking on it and see what the deal is with this one All right, as we're doing the light up on this one, I just want to say that the wrapper is a Mexican San Andreas Negro. The filler comes from independent plantations in Nicaragua, and the binder is going to be a hybridized Ecuadorian Habano leaf. These cigars are made in the Hoya de Nicaragua factory in Esteli. Steve Saka is kind of known for going to great lengths to put together a great cigar and a great product. Um, this one is called the Sin Compromiso. That literally translates to without compromise. Um, and that's a kind of a mantra for his company is to put products out and that literally do not compromise. They don't compromise in the quality of tobacco. They don't compromise in the flavor. They don't compromise in just the final product and the experience that you're going to get off of what they're putting out he really makes a point to make sure that you're getting something that he himself enjoys and loves to smoke so um, you may be familiar with the Muestra de Saka unicorn um, it's not unknown for Steve to go through thousands and thousands of pounds of tobacco to select a very small percentage that actually gets put into the cigars that he puts out um, this one right here, the Muestra de Saka Unicorn, is definitely one of those. I'll show it to you right now. We're going to do a review on this one at some point. I don't exactly know when, um, but this is that one right there. It's the Muestra de Saka Unicorn. Um, nice little perfecto. I did get to try a little bit of one of these a little while back. A little buddy of mine. Um, absolutely phenomenal picked one up so like I said we're gonna do a review on one of these but that's something for another day so I will put this away very carefully and uh, we'll keep smoking on the Sin Compromiso there but there's that so the size that I'm smoking today is the Espada Estoque or some pronunciation of that um, this is a 7x44, just the powerhouse of flavor. You really get to showcase the San Andreas wrapper on this thing by having that smaller kind of Vitola because the proportions of that tobacco really balance the wrapper to filler and binder ratio, um, which I enjoy. All right, so a couple of notes that I'm getting off of this thing. Coffee, uh, like an espresso. Cocoa powder, like a cacao nib or something like that. Um, spice, pepper, definitely pepper, like a like spices, black pepper. Um, I, something almost like, like citrusy um, in a way, like a, like a little bit of a zing to it other than like a pepper sort of spice. Um, there's a nice meaty sort of tone to it. It tastes like, it honestly, it tastes like a steak. It tastes like a steak that's crusted in pepper, grilled, nice and smoky, nice and rich. Um, definitely with those spices on it. It's like a brothy sort of meaty, salty sort of taste, um, which is definitely a nice layer of flavor to have on this thing. If you're familiar with some culinary terms, you may or may not be, is umami. So umami is one of the five taste groups, um, next to salty, bitter, sweet, um, umami basically is more of a savory sort of taste. Uh, it's characteristic of like meats. 
it is triggered by the taste receptors that respond to um, glutamates, which are typically found in, you know, proteins. That's a note that I'm getting off of this one. Definitely that umami sort of taste. Very smooth and creamy. Overall, what I get from this cigar is heavy cocoa. Lots of heavy cocoa notes. Coffee, like rich espresso coffee beans, a nice dark roasted coffee. Um, spices. Um, there's a zesty sort of note to it. Maybe like a cinnamon, maybe sort of like a citrus rind or something like that. Um, citrus rind maybe with like nutmeg of some sort. meaty, nice brothy note to it, that nice umami sort of taste. Smooth and strong at the same time. Sin Compromiso, I'd give this thing five bombs. This thing is definitely a flavor bomb. Um, just an explosion of lots of different layers of flavor. It changes up as you progress through it. Um, like I said, it has that nice peppery sort of tone to it in the beginning. As it builds, you get more those more cocoa coffee sort of tones um, it builds with that nice rich meaty umami um, savory sort of note it just keeps that layer of smoothness throughout the whole cigar while keeping those very bold in your face flavors it's definitely a roller coaster of flavor for sure <laughs> If you guys like this video be sure to subscribe to my channel f bomb cigars flavor bomb cigars uh, check me out on instagram at f bomb cigars for daily content I post basically what i'm smoking on a daily basis if you guys have anything that you'd like me to review hit me up in the comments like this video hit that notification button so that way you get notified of any new videos that are going up as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time